This is a war. We will not tolerate your threat by command of the king! In the winter of 1770, Boston was an occupied city. Boston will know order. It actually took the Sons of Liberty and their small rebellions against the things that were not fair to show everyone that they were being stifled by the British. This mob comes down King Street just as Private U. White is pushing a boy to the ground, an apprentice who had been taunting him. Boston Massacre was a bad decision on the British side. The mob surrounds White. Captain Thomas Preston brings seven soldiers down King Street. There was troops put in place there that were known to have caused trouble before. I think that's why Gage has such a poor reputation, because he hired the nastiest, bloodiest group of redcoats he could. He's a passionate man. His heart is for England. I want the scalp of every colonial savage. They opened fire, and that really stirred the pot and created this whole domino effect throughout the course of history. Retreat! Retreat! In seconds, three men were dead in the street. Two were mortally wounded. Captain Preston demanded to know why they started shooting, and they said, we heard fire and thought you said it. Early the next morning, the lieutenant governor orders Captain Preston and the eight soldiers arrested for murder. At the trial of the soldiers, the facts of the case showed that both sides were in the wrong. John Adams represented the soldiers. He believed in the right to counsel and the protection of innocence. That philosophy is what fueled the revolution. The Sons of Liberty and Samuel Adams are masters of propaganda. In newspapers throughout the colonies, Sam Adams branded the event the Boston Massacre and spun it not as some local isolated event, but as part of a vast British conspiracy to crush freedom throughout the continent. Sons of Liberty, brought to you by revolutionary craft brewer Samuel Adams for the love of beer.